Hey there, guys, and welcome to a game called From the Darkness. I have zero idea what this game is about. Um, I caught a glimpse of it on some social media platform. I can't remember which. Um, but uh, it's being touted as the scariest game of the year. So I figured why not? Why not give it a shot? Um, my uh, so I got a new setup. I have a new computer, and uh, my all of my previous recordings for Little Nightmares Two and Medium have been lost. So <laughs> I'm not going to be going back and, and recording those games uh, to finish them. Uh, again, because it won't be genuine, you know what I mean? So I'm just going to, uh, I'm going to start over with something new and maybe revisit some, some games that I didn't finish, like The Suicide of Rachel Foster, things like that. But for now, we're going to jump into this one and see just how scary it is. Oh, oh. just, just like, like that, that. we are in. Okay. So, PT-ish, I'm assuming. Objective, get into the 64th apartment of the deceased grandfather. 64. Can I check your mail? Oh, I have a body. Look at there. Not just a floating camera. That's cool. That's not, uh... That's, that's not, not ominous. ominous. Go up one more, away, away from, from the pillow chair. Blinking, blinking light. Okay. Get Gotta take a seat. Getting, Getting close, close to the sound. Closer. closer. Yeah. yeah. Click, click. Not nothing. Closer. closer. It's very dark. Oh. The door's stuck. Oh. It's stuck between floors. Can I crouch? No. The button. I can't get in. Okay. It's very dark, but we're just gonna... Just gonna keep on moving. Keep on keeping on. Someone left their garbage. It's not very, uh... Hey! 64, right? Looks like we made it. Knock, knock. Ding dong. Oh! Uh huh. Gramps, I'm home. Dear neighbors, if you don't stop making noise at night, we will call the police. Oh. Okay. Neighbors. Neighbors, the apartment has long been abandoned. Can I turn on the lights? Got another key. That's nice. Can I have a light, please? Please. Does this unlock the door? No. Okay. <laughs> oh, fuck. What, what the, the hell? hell? It is very... Am I walking towards anything? Very, very, very dark. What the hell am I supposed to be doing? Neighbors? Can I, can I leave? Oh, can't get, get back out. out. Can I turn the power on from here? Oh! oh. oh looky there. Switch. Switch. Maybe that did something? Pick up the family album and leave. Ah. Oh, thank God. This grandma. Hello, grandma. Okay. 
Yeah. yeah. This, this place has been abandoned. You mean to tell me that the owner of this joint hasn't? Grandpa was in the military, huh? The owner of this complex hasn't come in here and taken the roach out of the salami? I mean, hasn't done anything with this place? What the hell? Did I click on anything? It's in the fridge. Beans? Whatever that is. What do we got? Is this a, something I can... That is... Nothing good. Okay. Family album. Right, right, right. Hey, Grandma. Close this now. Well, that's no good. I'm not going in there. <laughs> not just yet. Which one is you, Gramps? Nice. Lovely. Not creepy at all. What's the drip drip? Hello? Drip drop drip. I can't. Oh. Can't go into the dark rooms. Oh. What the? F what was that? Roaches. Nice. Nice. Okay. 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 All right. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Um, too, too dark. dark. I agree. Why oh, won't the door close all the way? Um. Okay. All right. I'm just gonna. Oh no! Nope! 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 nope. Didn't I close that? Oh. Oh, fuck. Grandpa. Missing part. But of course. I have a key, though. And a guitar, right? Look at there. Nice tune. She's gonna... Um, nope. 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 <gasps> oh. 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 No. Uh. This is a basement. Oh, oh thank God. God. I was going to say, we're in an apartment complex. Oh. oh. Nice. nice. Looking like post alone there, there, Granny. Can I take this stabby, stabby? Got the part. Cool. Closed. Oh, fuck. No, fuck. Okay. Excuse me, Grandpa. Oh, stick that. There. Oh, oh fuck, fuck my, my goddamn, goddamn bot tum. tum. Uh. 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 <laughs> oh, fuck. What, what the, the fuck? fuck? You. you. Bitch! Why? Why are you? Oh! Hello! Damn, I'm, I'm hot. hot. Uh, you, you bitch. bitch. Oh. 
What the hell, man? Nice. Uh, I hate it here. I don't like it here. That's it. Truth. Truth. Gorbachev is ousted and an apparent coup by Soviet armed forces and hardliners accused of steering into a blind alley. Nice. What was the point of this? I need this album. Give me the albums. Oh, frickity. More roaches! Get out! And, like, baby roaches eggs and stuff. Okay, well... Sure, I'll, I'll get, get out. out. Just one. Oh. Oh. There's a couple of uh, tumblers missing, it looks like, huh? Wait. Did I look at this the right way? Um. Yeah, okay. I don't think I have the parts for that just yet. Ugh. Look at me. Okay. All right. All right. You fucking assholes. Why is my heart beating? Oh, this is on now. Perfect. Is that? Look at that. Hell yeah. TV not working. Where are these lovely folks? What is this? Something, Something that, that I, I cannot... Oh, oh more Trioshka dolls. Hello. Hello. Something that I cannot read. Smokes by the window. I heard something. Why am I in here? Can I take this bust? Stalin? Um... Gonna assume that uh, there's no reason for me, God. <laughs> Damn it! No, stop. Oh! What? Oh wait! 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 wait. Um, um, um. <laughs> oh. oh, oh, thanks. thanks. <gasps> I, see I see something. I see you. you. Give, me. Give me. You, you have. Oh, oh my God. God. Just. Gonna, I can't close it anymore. Oh. Oh. Fuck. Uh. Stop. Stop. <laughs> hey, uh. What, what the, the hell? hell? Is that, Is that intestines? intestines? Yeah, we'll just... Ooh! Ooh! <laughs> oh, fuck, man. What the fuck? Uh, hell no. Now there's, now there's cages, cages on the windows. windows. Oh. To come back here, don't you? <gasps> what? Uh. Hello? Ah. Turn that back on. I need to get in here. Stop fucking with me. What did I do to you? I'm run, run where? where? Oh. oh. Right. right.
Disturbed you. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Okay. okay. All, right. All right. Am I not in the wrong right, right spot? spot? Hey, hey there. Are you, are you are following, following me with your eyes? Bitch, bitch baby. baby. Traps, I guess. Okay, okay I'm coming. What? what? Please. Please stop. stop. Ooh. Oh. oh. Nice, nice intestine, intestine stew. stew. Fucking door. Oh. I have no idea. Red, green, blue, yellow. Oop. Let me do that. Hang on. What's red, green, blue, and yellow in this joint? Do you know? Ivan. Red, Red, green, blue, blue yellow. yellow. Just close that. <gasps> I don't, I don't want, to. want to. Oh, fuck. Green, green is dead. that. Okay. okay. God, I hate this shit. Well, well that's, that's a thing, thing we know at now, at least. Green is... Hang on. Hang on. Oh! I'm gonna get under here again real quick. Sorry, I, I gotta see this. Animals! Okay, that thing. Oh! Lights are, are different. different. Hang on. I think I, think I got it right there. Okay, okay, I think that's the one. Now I gotta find the others. I don't wanna. It's so fucking dark in here. Ah, uh, I can't fucking move anymore. It's so fucking dark. Where am I? Do I have to just fucking piece this together now based off of that one? I don't fucking know. What the hell? You know? Oh! Blue is that Viking looking symbol. 
What the shit? shit? There. there. That one. you To the voice. voice. Why would I want to do that? Where is the voice? Now the door is completely walled off with intestines closed. Yeah. So it would seem, huh? Close too. I hear no voice. I just see grandma. She's seen better days. Oh god damn. Those boots scared that doesn't like light. Coming for you. Suck flashlight. I can't go toward that voice. There's a wall of intestines. Nope. Nope. You bitch. I am Lord of the flashlight. Understand me. me. Oh, okay. okay. Ears. Ears on the pizza pan. Finger, one eye, and some teeth. Uh, what the fuck? Equals a key? Good cripes. your finger. Oh. oh. Right. Right. Whoa. Whoa. It's 
looking real nice outside there. Take, Take those. those. I want your finger, buddy. I'm gonna have that finger. Let's uh, take a... Uh, or, well, I'm pulling teeth. But of course I am. Okay. Well, it's been been fun. Hi. Photos are not there anymore. Okay. Um. Or am I gonna get a damn finger? finger. Oh, oh, wait, wait I, think I think I know. I'm pretty sure I saw a finger. And then... Oh, nice. Things are great here. Give me your eyeball. How do I get your eyeball? I want your eyeball. Oh, I know. Wait, wait. I can't, I can't get in here anymore. This, this little, little jerk, jerk had eyeballs. Oh. oh. Nope. Nope. I'm just gonna close that because that is a terrible place. Put on your big boy balls and let's fucking do this thing. Stand close to the wall, though. <gasps> Paint the wall. Let's go. Let's go. Where, Where am I? Oh, I am so disoriented. You. Thank fuck for that. Okay. Yeah. Oh! Take your eyeballs, buddy. Breaking the chains. Hey! Remember when you jump scared me? I'm taking your eyes. Hey, pal. Okay. <laughs> okay. I have no fucking clue what the hell is happening. But, but I'll, I'll take, take it. it. <laughs> he is stronger in the dark. When you light up all the rooms, it will get weaker and you can get out. This is the key to the box under the ceiling. Thanks for the tip. Open it up. We got... Nothing to set fire to the candles, huh? Can I turn the fucking stove on? Well, you like beans? Matches? Fucking something? Cigarettes by the windowsill. There's gotta be fucking something in here, right? But of course. You have a smoke. 
anybody. Nice, nice cup, cup of Joe. Joe. Nothing. Nothing. No. no. <gasps> I was like, why the fuck did I get under there? You know, there's no point in fucking hitting the light switches, buddy. You turn the power out. Or did you forget? Oh! Oh! God, God damn, damn it. it. Oh! Lovely. My, My fucking hot. Yes. <gasps> oh, you fuck. fuck. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Can, can I have, have that? that? Give me that. Can I, can I take, take it? You fucking asshole. asshole. You're, You're the one causing all, all these troubles, troubles from, from me? Huh? You need to listen. Try again. Okay. You know, call me out whenever. Call me out. That's cool. Whenever I do something stupid. You know. It's, uh... Bunch of eyeballs there. Hello? Whoa, whoa, whoa wait. wait. Oh, come on. It was, it was red. red. So, so that's, that's a no, 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 no go. go. What about the eyeball room? Let me, Let guess. me guess. I need to listen. Oh, oh hey. hey. I did it. I did it. Hi. Hi. Can I? Can I you want to hold hands? No. This is Silent Hill shit. shit. Need a lighter, man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say, say, uh, oh, fuck. What the hell is happening? 
What, what is, is this, this fresh hell? Definitely not the way I want to go. I want to go. <gasps> oh, God damn it. There's nothing this way. I'm getting in. Keeping eyes on you. You look, you look very, you look great. You look great, by the way. Yeah. Okay. Looking great, buddy. Looking good. Objective to light up lights in all rooms. Hi. Hi. Oh. Oh. Hey. Hey. Wait. Wait. No. no. That's just, just, just a pipe. I thought it was a candle.
This one, I think. Man, Man what the fuck? fuck? your ass, ass up, buddy. buddy.
Come on, man. You're so, so close. close. Bumps. That was from the darkness. I have no idea what that was all about at all, but it was done. <laughs> it was done in such a such a good way that it didn't even really matter. It was so terrifying that I didn't even really care about any um any story points um <laughs> I don't even know what to say I haven't had a game scare me like that in a long time in a long time the atmosphere the lighting the sound the some of the mechanics like telling you to hide under the bed genuinely made you feel like it made you feel like you, you, you needed to hide under the bed, even though nothing technically, you know, was was out to get you. It it genuinely felt like it was. I was so pulled into this. I was, I completely forgot. I was in this room recording sometimes, just terrifying. Whenever you turn around and this hulking, massive figure would be behind you, and then just kind of slink into the shadows i like that that uh it the, the the environment had a way of telling you your next steps without it like really throwing it into your face you know like you can hide under the bed it's like you need to hide under the bed because this thing's coming for you when really it's just the the game's way of telling you that the piece of the puzzle that you're looking for is under the bed for the lock and then you look in the mirror and you see the other symbol on the wall and then you look up whenever the light flickers at the ceiling um, I wasn't exactly sure during the, the, the moments whenever I was walking through the halls, opening the doors and it would tell me that I needed to listen. I wasn't exactly sure what I was listening for because there was just so many different noises going on. That wasn't exactly a good mechanic because like I said, I didn't know what I was listening for, but in the end it wasn't very difficult either to find my, find my way. Some of the scares were jump scares for sure, uh, but they were effective. I have jumped or screamed like that in a long time. There's something about these games that, you know, I can watch horror movies all day and some of it gets me, but like playing a game is, is so much different, especially a horror game whenever, you know, you're put into the shoes of this character for whatever reason going to this apartment to get the family photo album, I guess, from Grandpa. And uh, and then all this wacky shit starts happening, you know, and, and, it, and it genuinely kind of feels like it's happening to you. Um, that's how you know you have a good horror game on your hands whenever it pulls you into the world that you're in and makes you feel like you're going through these trials. And for whatever reason, this dude... Uh, never really made it out of the the complex, but you didn't see him going in either. It just starts with him there. So how many times exactly has this guy gone through this? You know, only to 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 get out and uh, and start the cycle over again. Um, very Silent Hill feeling in parts for sure. I know it that it has to be inspired by Silent Hill in some form inspired by PT in some form, um, which isn't a bad thing because they did it well. I would really, really like to see more from this developer. Um, I'm not exactly sure. I need to read up on it. I'm not sure if it's just one person or I'm sure it's very small if it's not just one person, but bravo for real because, you know, even AAA games don't 
really get this kind of reaction out of me. Uh, I mean, I, you know, there, it has its moments, scary moments and things like that in, in those games. But so games like Outlast are, are games that are only really scary to me because your only option is to run and hide. You can't really fight back against these people. But, you know, like if it were me in that situation and an Outlast situation, I would grab the nearest, heaviest thing I could find and I would be bashing some skulls in for sure <laughs> or something. You know, you're in a mental asylum. There's there's something you could find to use as a weapon or you're in some crazy religious cult convent type situation in the second outlast and there's plenty of sharp objects around why not pick one up and and defend yourself instead of running you know from all this craziness that's what makes that game scary and that's not you know a game shouldn't rely solely on that you can have a scary game that you can defend yourself in not that this is a perfect example of that because i didn't really do much defending myself but the entire time I was never in really any danger. Uh, you know, I had, uh, but you know, light kept the, the creature, the, the guy, the, the ghost or whatever the hell he is, it kept him away, you know? So you used light as a tool to defend yourself. Really? I'm not sure if you could let him catch you. And if this, creature in this game would actually kill you i don't feel like it will uh but you know it's just the idea of it whereas unlike uh you know like i said outlast that's really only scary for certain reasons but you can have a scary game that you defend yourself in such as like resident evil 7 that was a scary game you had guns and knives and all this other stuff you know what i mean uh, you don't have to rely on that complete sense of helplessness um so yeah i don't like being chased in games like that but that effective scare of whenever you turn around and this thing is staring you in the face and then and then blinks out of existence that's scary all the uh um all the all the people standing in this apartment there toward the end and then just slowly walking towards you that's scary that I, it looked like a girl or a woman in the corner before walking into those other rooms just standing there staring at you whenever you turn around and following you across the room is scary you know naturally the baby doll whenever you walk into the room it just jumps in your face and and that's just you know that's just a, a jump scare but it worked. It got me. It got me for sure. And all the sort of little uh, environmental, <clears throat> the environmental um, cues, you know, the light switch is turning off, it, turn, it turning your flashlight off, your, uh, you know, things like that. Doors opening and slamming and closing. And uh, that's very sort of visage to me. Those mechanics uh, were like the first time I'd seen anything like that was in visage which I need to go back and revisit Visage as well because I know that they fleshed it out and finally finished it, so I need to I need to do that. But, um, you know, I'm marrying all those mechanics together, the PT, the Silent Hill sort of visuals, the jump scares, and, you know, the environmental cues messing with you and stuff like that, and the audio. Marrying all those together is... It's really great, but I'm going to stop rambling on and on now, but I just really wanted to uh, touch on why I appreciated this game, this horror game for what it was. Short, sweet, not too long, didn't drag out, didn't, uh, you know, didn't really become convoluted at any point or anything like that. So, yeah, uh, just <laughs> very well done, very well done, and uh yeah, I hope to see more from this developer. I'm going to check him out on Steam, and I'll leave the link to uh, to this game in the description on Steam. It was like, I think I paid like six bucks for this game. Yeah, like five or six bucks for this. I mean, by all means, if you can go and experience it for yourself, please do that. Support this person. But uh, yeah, that's all for now. 
I'm going to get out of here and I'm going to, uh, I don't know. I'm going to go watch some, you know, videos about kittens and stuff. So, uh, thanks for, thanks for dropping by following me to the end of this and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.